How do you generate leads on LinkedIn? If you search this question online, you are probably hit by a wall of information with 20 different experts pulling you in 20 different directions. Luckily, you found me and I'm here to make it simple. Over the next five minutes, I'm gonna be showing you a really simple strategy that you can use to convert your audience into paying customers. And don't worry, this is gonna work for you whether you have an existing audience or not. So even if you have 100 followers or you have 100,000 followers, this still applies and I'm gonna show you in steps how you can do this straight away. First, I'm gonna show you the tool that we're gonna use, then I'm gonna show you the strategy. So the platform I'm gonna be using is called Lucia. Now Lucia is a B2B prospecting platform and they also have this tool called the Lucia Extension, which directly works with your LinkedIn to help you gather contact information, both emails and phone numbers, straight away from the profiles and the people that you take a look at on LinkedIn. Now let's get into the strategy itself. So before we get into the actual step-by-step -step of this, what is a warm lead and why is this preferable over going in cold? So a warm lead is somebody that has engaged with your content. They already know who you are. They might have had one touch point with you or they've been following you for 10 plus years. Going after warm prospects is kind of like going after the low hanging fruit. Why would you go and try and get in front of thousands of cold prospects if you've already got a warm audience of people that you can get into your pipeline straight away for free, might I add. This ties into why your brand is so important. So if you do already have an established audience, this is gonna be great for you. However, that being said, I also did mention that if you don't have a brand, we can, we can find a workaround for you too. So even if you're new to LinkedIn and you have 200 followers and you've not posted once, I'm gonna show you how you can take advantage of this strategy as well and get in front of thousands of people instantly. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you a quick example of how you can do this if you already have content that has engagement on it, you already have an audience. If we go into my profile, you can see here in my featured section, I actually have a post that I put up on LinkedIn just after I did the LinkedIn Spark event. And I actually mentioned it in my talk and I said, I'm gonna have a post on my LinkedIn. If you have any questions for me, please go over there, leave a comment and I'll get back to everybody over the next few days. You can see I've got 96, 97 likes, 111 comments. Um, and it was like a really, really basic post, but all of these people are in a sales position or a prospecting role. They've seen me talk and they've come over to my profile. What I can do from these people is they're now aware of who I am. And even better, I'm in a position of authority. So if you're somebody who does a lot of like talks, um, Q and A's, maybe you have a YouTube channel or you can associate yourself with other people who are established in your niche or industry. Um, this is a cool way to kind of have a crossover. If I have a look down this list of people, wouldn't it be amazing if I could grab all of these people that have engaged with me, they're aware of who I am and put them into a list and then market to them slowly with like multiple touch points and a non-salesy approach just to build that trust and push them into my sales pipeline. With the Lutra extension, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So for example, you can see on the right-hand side here, we've got the Lutra extension. If I click on this, it's gonna show me the information of somebody's profile when I click on them. So let's say I'm gonna go on to like Ava. So actually like I, I know her, so I think she'll be okay with me using her as an example. Let's say we go on to Ava's profile on LinkedIn, okay? If I click on the Lutra extension, you can see it loading over here. I could click show contact and I can then save her onto my Lucia platform or directly into a CRM. What I would recommend doing with this is getting a VA or if you have the time doing it yourself, go down the list of people who have either liked or commented on a post on your LinkedIn, put them all into either your CRM on a list or onto a, a spreadsheet, which you can also do through Lucia as well, export it as a CSV, and then market to those people however you'd want to. Maybe you have a few touch points on Sales Navigator, maybe you have a touch point through email or you're doing a warm call, whatever it may be, this gives you the power to do that and take people who are aware of you and convert them into prospects and potential customers. So that's a really cool way if you have your own content. If you don't, this is the other method and this is something that I also do as well. This strategy, I've always said I wouldn't actually share it on my YouTube and I've kept it for my high paying clients because it's super powerful if you do it right. Um, so please just follow this step by step. 
Let's say that I identify a thought leader within my industry and I know that their audience is really, like if they're interested in them, they're definitely gonna be interested in me. What I can do, and I've done this for quite a few months now, is I can leave high value comments on their content. If I do it early enough and if it's valuable enough, I know that most likely the author is gonna engage with me, which is gonna push my comment towards the top. And I also know that if their reach is 500,000 followers, if my comment is towards the top and then 500,000 people see it, that's 500,000 eyeballs on me and my title. That's 500,000 people that might potentially click on my name and visit my profile and see my content. So this is why it doesn't actually matter if you don't necessarily have a personal brand which is built up yet, you could leave that valuable comment. What I've done every time this, is, this has happened is I've received like a bunch of inbound connection requests. And what you can do is if you get, for example, 20 likes on your comment, go and grab those 20 people, request to connect with them, put them into a list on Lucia or in your CRM and say, warm prospects and then you could have a different channel or email approach or cold calling warm calling approach for these prospects and it's just, it's just it's super powerful and this is something that a lot of people aren't doing and it is leaving money on the table so the next step is to identify some thought leaders within your space whose network is most likely going to be really interested in your stuff too what we're going to do is we're going to go and find one of those people so let's say for example let me think of somebody. Um, so let's say like Shay Rowbottom. So she does a lot of like kind of video branding stuff, helping um, companies grow. I know a lot of her stuff is, is LinkedIn based, but her stuff's awesome. Let's say that I know she's got how many followers? 777,000 followers plus. Let's go on to her activity. And let's say, does video work for your industry? Let me just say that I'm looking here and she's got this post and there are 77 comments. So people have taken the time to comment, not just like they've obviously really enjoyed this content, they found value from it. I know that a lot of these people who are following Shay are interested in LinkedIn information and knowledge. So let's say you wanna pre-qualify these people in the comments, you could be looking for CEOs, sales leaders, like whatever hypothetically. I'm gonna say that, okay, this David guy looks like a really good client for me. I'm gonna open him in a new tab. What I'm gonna do then is I'm going to let Lucia pop up his information. And then what I need to do is click show contact and then save contact, save him to Lucia. And then I can create a new list, for example, and I could call it um, warm influencer network strategy or whatever we want to call this, create and save. I can go and do the same thing for all of those prospects that match the kind of criteria that I'm looking to fit. So that's a really cool way to use Lucia's extension tool for that specifically. If you don't have a network, personally, I do both of these strategies so you can combine the two. Um, but yeah, if you don't have a brand, this is like a really quick win for you also. The final point I want to mention is that the key to the strategy succeeding is consistency. You need to have a daily routine. Every single day, set aside 10, 15, 20 minutes to do the following steps. Have a list of thought leaders that you want to check on every day. Go and see if they've recently posted any content. Go through and order and pre-qualify the list of people who have commented, adding any relevant names to Lucia, to your designated lead list. This way you have warmer leads and prospects that you can push into the next step of your marketing campaign straight away. So good luck with implementing this routine. And Lucia has actually kindly sponsored this video. So if you click on the link in the description, you'll actually get the first 25 credits on your account for free. So you can go and check out the strategy, see if it works for you. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.